Hi everyone and welcome. I am Malika Pathak and today I'll be talking about mockups. In any project, models or mockups are the best way for clients to validate and communicate with the project team. Written requirements and use cases are a great start and the next best step is to be able to see the functionality. Many project managers have seen plenty of situations where the client's expectations were not met and development was already completed. This often results in frustration and wasted work. Mockups help prevent that from happening. First, let's understand what are mockups and wireframes and then we will be talking about why creating mockups in the project is important, its significance, what mockups help in achieving, what stage the mockup is to be created, the impact of creating mockups in the project, and lastly, use of mockups in different industries and some examples related to that. The tools that can be used to create one. There are many more tools available that can be used for creating mockups, such as uh, Flinto, Marvel, Adobe InDesign, each having their own pros and cons. Before selecting any tool, it is vital that one must go over all the pros and cons, compares them and then select one. Mockups in software development are to create user interfaces that show the end user what the software will look like without having to build the software on the underlying functionality. Mockups are often used to create unit tests, there they are usually called mock objects. The main reasons to create such mockups is to be able to test one part of a software system, a unit, without having to use dependent modules. What is wireframe? A wireframe is a rough sketch about how a website or app will look like. It is usually presented with grey lines, boxes, colors and placeholders. It is similar to the blueprint of a building which involves a lot of work from many participants to be converted. If a wireframe is considered as the blueprint of a building, a mockup is similar to a real-life building model. It gives viewers a more realistic impression of how the final website or app will look like. So it is good for communicating, discussing, collaborating and iterating projects with your team members at a later design stage. Why do we create mockups? What is the significance of creating them? First, showcase rich project details for better communication. It is easy for you and your team to communicate and discuss specific details. Second, easy to understand for clients and stakeholders. A wireframe may require viewers to use their imagination. However, with a better visual appearance, a mockup makes it easy for anyone, including your clients, to understand and know more about the actual product well. Third, easy to preview, test and iterate. Unlike skeletal wireframes, mockups are much more closer to the final product. They are good models for you and your team to preview, test, find errors and iterate them early on. What do we achieve with mockups? Mockups provide us with a rough idea of how individual screen will look, all the elements existing on individual screens, what input will be expected from users, how that input will be processed and how the elements will behave when the users interact with them. There will be multiple iterations during these processes and stages. All the stakeholders will repeatedly evaluate the work and suggest changes that will need to be incorporated there and then. At what stage of project mockups are created? Mockups can be created at any stage as it is solely dependent on the client's requirements. During the initial phase, mockups helps to make the client understand that this is how the final development will look like. During the development, if the technical team is unable to explain a particular end result of development, then we go for unit development where a single mockup is prepared. What impacts does it have on the project? Creating mockups require time and sometimes this can lead to delay in meeting deadlines as end client suggests changes in the mockups. Now where mockups are used and how? Mockups can be used in any industry no matter if it is a service-based company or a product company. A 
few extra examples are below. Software industry, the most common use of mockups in software development is to create user interfaces that show the end user what the software will look like without having to build the software or the underlying functionality. Creative agencies, website designing and product designing, furniture and cabinetry. The intention is to produce a full-sized replica using inexpensive materials in order to verify a design. Systems engineering, mockups are a way of designing user interfaces on paper or in computer images. What tools do we use for mockup? Balsamic. If you just need to make a wireframe, you can use Balsamic mockup. Its interface operation is simple and wireframes made by it have a unique hand-painted style and simple lines. This tool provides various commonly used components which allows designers to focus more on design rather than on visual effects. Proto.io More prominently used for prototypes for gadgets such as smartphones, smart TVs and smartwatches. Just in mind Used for website building more prominently. Mockups are realistic, easily revised and are convincing. These help in providing a high level view on the approach of the project and does not exceed the provided time frame. Thank you for watching this video.